unfortunately not one of our better practices, which we kind of talked about last week, that it's easy to come out uh, very energized uh, the first two days of spring with no pads, and then the third day uh, being in the Coliseums, you know, kind of easy too because you're all excited about that in the scrimmage format. So today was a little warmer, and um, being out in full pads for a long practice, um, it was good for us. It was good for our guys to realize, obviously, we have a long ways to go. What did uh, Tony Bazzelli have to say? Uh, Tony just really talked to them about, you know, um, representing USC and how many of us um, watch you guys and the style of play that uh, we expect from SC and that everybody goes through years um, like you guys did. And, uh, we got to work to get back on top. You talked about the practice today. How much of that was because of what the defense was able to do? Probably a combination. You know, I didn't think the offense uh, practiced very well uh, mentally and just really wasn't into it uh, the way they had been the three practices before. And the defensive front seven really was. I mean, re really front eight if you count Sua. Um, played really well today. You update what do you have to say about Sua? What do you uh, great day. I mean, he just, so one of the offensive coaches said he looks like a senior in college out there. Um, he's just so natural, and I mean, he went from making the two interceptions, one in the one in the deep post, to blitzing off the edge and beating the back. Uh, he's a very special player. There's a reason he was a national defensive player of the year. Can you update us on Wittick and Marquise? Yeah, both obviously didn't practice today. Um, both are knee issues, and um, you know that's really all. They're not serious. You know, they're, they're we anticipate both of them. Um, being back, if not this week, then the next Tuesday practice. What um, does Max's absence for the next few days um, do with the quarterback situation? Nothing besides give those guys more reps. And, you know, obviously just from a numbers game, um, it's not going to set him back. You know, he's he's had a lot of reps. Um, you know, more reps than other guys when you take in um, the practice, all the bowl practices, and the starting of you know the last game of the year. So um, it, it's just good for the other guys. Is the absence of walk-on quarterbacks at this time of year very much of an issue for you? I mean, just in terms of practices and how much they, have, how many reps they take. Yeah, it actually is. Um, we have one, but he, he's a dual sport, so he's playing baseball, so we, won't, we don't get him back right now. Um, so it, it is a little bit of an issue, uh, one that um, I got, we're going to have fixed in the fall. What is it about Sewell that's allowed him to come in here? As you said, he looks like a senior. He's been given a lot of responsibility so far, you know, by Coach Pendergast on, on that side. What is it about him that he's been able to absorb this, this load so early? I think really his preparation. I think he's going to be one of those. It's still early, but I think he's one of those unique guys. Um, like we've talked about the Robert Woods types before, you know, that have come in here and really just soaked everything up. Um, his early to meetings is always sitting up there trying to watch extra film, do extra things. Um, he's very focused on, on being a really good student athlete. He's doing great in the classroom also, so you know, I think we have an all-around package. A lot of those guys you mentioned in the past were offensive guys. Is it kind of different, him being on the other side of the wall? I don't know. You know, I think um, Nikkel was like that. You know, I think Nikkel from day one came in here and soaked everything up, and, uh, you know, and obviously it helped him start from day one. And So I think that, um, you know, we'll figure out where we can play him, where's the best spot to play him. He's 220 pounds already. You know, which is, he doesn't look like that, you know, which is obviously very unusual for a guy that's really a senior high school already 220. Um, anything that you saw from the film uh, from Saturday's scrimmage? Oh, that was a long time ago. Um, <laughs> Saturday's scrimmage. Um, I thought that um, Cody did some good things. I didn't think we played very well up front on offense. Um, I thought that the first string front seven on defense played well. I thought Lamar Dawson played great. Um, his best practice he's played since the minute. Devon Kennard really played played well, um, which was good to see in his new role. So um, there was some good and there was some bad. Is Marcus Martin back in the competition at center at all? Uh, you know what, this was the first day we did that in the spring and, and we just you know, figured now that we're in the second week, you know, we'd see, see what he could do there and um, see how he looked. So. We'll probably do it for the rest of the week and then figure it out. You know, um, we just don't wanted to not do anything in the first week with anybody. Uh, much like today, we moved Leon to safety for the week to see what he looks like there after the week.
MVP today. Sure. But uh, your coaches, your, and if, I'm sorry if anyone asked you this already, but uh, how do you how do you feel like they're doing through the now that you've seen them through a scrimmage and a week? I think they're doing really well. Um, I think that uh, you know Clancy on defense is doing a great job. I mean, that's why we hired him. He, um, he has a really good plan that we went through in the interview process of how to get pl players to play really fast, um, very quick. And, I, and that's why he was able to do what he did in one year, the first year at Cal. You know, turn, turn the defense completely around. Most um, offensive coaches in the conference definitely took notice of it. They led the conference in defense, led the conference in sacks. I think both those carried for two years in a row. Um, it's not, they do a lot of stuff, but at the same time, they've got really sound rules that don't have a lot of adjustments. And, Allow players to play fast, and you know I, I sit and I watch the film every night with them and go over everything, and um, you can see where he he does not try to make guys do too much. You know, coach may say, well, "What about doing this with him or looking down over here?" He's like, "No, we need him to play fast." And so I think he, for a guy who's got an NFL background, he really understands the little amount of time you have with college guys. The hell more for dinner here. Because say, how was it for you to look over and see your dad here today? But Got all not, kinds of generations here. <laughs> here. My son's here today too. Oh, showed okay. up with T's kid. Uh, he was here yesterday. I knew this uh -huh. was going to happen. He was. He flew in Sunday night, and um, they have the week off. And so I, we had dinner with him Sunday night. And then I'm thinking to myself, what is he going to do? He's not going to sit at home. You, know? <laughs> you guys know him. He's a, he's a prisoner of this of this game. Sure enough, the next morning, Monday morning about 9 a.m., I got a text saying, you think I can come up? So he all day yesterday, he's been here all day today. So, um, you know, that was good. I mean, the, he was in with the coaches yesterday, and um, him and Clancy spent some time together, and you know, he saw some of the players, so it was good. Okay, well,